On behalf of the Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy Group, Mr Farage. Thank you. Well, as the moment of truth approaches for the Brexit negotiations in a couple of weeks' time, I have to say Brexiteers are dismayed at the way that our Prime Minister has acted. I've got to hand it, uh, Mr Juncker, to your negotiators. They're very much better than ours. The previously undiscussed issue of the Irish border, never a problem at any point during the referendum has very effectively been weaponised by Barnier. Um, but of course, this has got nothing to do with the Good Friday Agreement, nothing to do with the peace process whatsoever. No, Barnier is much cleverer than that. This is all to do with making sure that the United Kingdom stays with the European regulatory framework. The one thing Barnier has been scared of from the start is us leaving and us becoming competitive. Sadly, the British Prime Minister has fallen hook, line and sinker for this, uh, and we find ourselves now uh, going into this next summit in a very weak position. There is, of course, a better approach to all of this that would satisfy both democratically the Brexit vote and, I think, the demands of German industry and exporters. I mean, don't forget what an important marketplace we are. Your exporters call us Treasure Island. Uh, so many motor cars and so much wine and Belgian chocolate do you sell us? We should go for a simple free trade deal. Uh, for 20 years here, everybody from Commissioner Kinnock to Giscard d'Estaing has said to me, if you want to leave political union and have a free trade deal, that's fine by us. We just need a prime minister who actually understands it. Now, I know the European Commission would not necessarily want this uh, because I think they're trying to use the Brexit process as a means of saying uh, leaving this club comes at a price. But I do believe it would be possible. But we get to the heart, of course, of what this European Union is when we see the behaviour of the unelected bureaucrats, uh, people like Mr Tusk, whose behaviour at Salzburg was arrogant, low-grade, pretty vulgar in every respect. But that is what you get when you design a form of government that gives power without accountability. Nobody voted for these guys and nobody can get rid of these guys. They can do what the hell they like and increasingly the authoritarian nature of this club taking away voting rights from Hungary, Poland and who knows next. There is one little victory though that I'm pleased with. For a decade here I have noticed that that centralising authoritarian tone began to sound very like the old Soviet Union. The concept of limited sovereignty of individual nation states. I even talked in the past about the Volkerkirk of the old Austro-Hungarian prison of nations and to see the British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt now using that language means we have shifted the centre of gravity, we have shifted this debate. I know many of you here still think that we're a hostage uh, and that you're going to demand some extraordinary ransom from us. We're not. We're a free people. Under the right leadership we'd say to you, let's have a free trade deal or we would simply walk away.